Okay, I'll try and do a little bit of a demo about her neck. Um, necks are actually, if I'm honest, are actually the most difficult for me right now uh, in my learning. Um, and as you can see, she doesn't have a lot of neck, so I think that makes it even more difficult for for me to get the, the shape correct. Working from underneath the, the chin, you want to go in the direction that the hair grows, and you can see there's a kind of a part where just right down the middle. So this hair is pulled to this side, and this hair is pulled to that side. And then once you get to this cowlick over here, you want to um, respect that direction so it goes down and around. And then that around brings it into this portion of the, of the neck which is the beginning shape of the keel of the, of the front of a boat. And so once you come to the cowlick, you'll move down in, in this circular motion and then pull it back in towards the front of the chest. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can that. Okay, and then from this ruff on the back of their neck, you're gonna work into this shoulder. And she's pretty patchy right now. I've actually let a hole get in her coat right there. So I need to blend this hair in a little bit better. Okay, so this is one way to get it. I'm going to hold her foot back. <laughs> hold her foot back and then you can work at that shoulder tip. Okay, now I'm just working on this front. She has a little bit more length than I want here in the front chest. So I'm just pulling that down. There, we've gotten some of the length out. I need to work some more in our shoulder right there. Okay, so looking over what we did on Munchie's neck, um, I cleaned up right here at her at her throat, right here where the noose goes across. Um, cleaned that up pretty short and tight. Then we come around here around the cow lick, and it goes down into this, like it's a keel of a boat around the cowlick, down into there. Um, I get to a rose on the table and a head noose today. We'll see how far we can get with that. Um, I wanted to work on her neck a little bit. Um, she grows it out really thick looking, so I want to take some of this off. I have a, a string cheese. I'll see if she cooperate with the string cheese. So what I'm working on is um, this part of her neck that's sticking straight out it starts to look like a one of those dinosaurs with the big head thing. Um, so I'm just trying to pull some of that out closer, or so that so that the hair is closer to her body. without the cheese because I can hang on to her a little bit better. Okay. So on the neck, I'm working around this cowlick here. And um, the way the cowlick goes is it goes 
around the, around this way and then you can see the hair flowing back in. So that's the way you need to pull it. You need to pull it back and then around and down. Because you always want to pull in the um, way in which the hair grows. And then I like to smooth it out here by your shoulder. Again, just trying to get rid of some of the thickness of her because it makes her neck look really thick. Good girl. Working on her undercoat. She makes lots of snorty sounds with that peanut butter. Good girl. And then working towards the front of it, where this is the the shape is a, the keel of a boat, the front of a boat, and um, so you can see that line starting to come down into this point of the V right here. Um, I'm going to just show you the top, the upper part of her neck here, the cape. I'm just going to thin some of that out so that again it doesn't look so bushy as it comes down in here, down here into her shoulders. <laughs> you have to excuse her while she eats her peanut butter. She's very snorty. Good girl. And so I'm just thinning that out. So you can see it tapering into her shoulder here. Okay, so here we now we have Rowan, her neck finished. Um, I'm just going to show you each side. Okay, so looking at Haas's neck, um, he needs cleanup work done the same as Rowan, where he has this part sticking straight out. And so we'll just start with that first of all, pulling that to this direction, the way that it grows, and then coming down around that cowlick. Okay, and then from this side, I'm going to pull it back towards the cowlick, and then as we come around the cowlick, down and back into the front. And this part of the cape, you want it just to, um, it's a little bit longer and it slopes right into the back of his shoulders here. It meets the top line there. Okay, and then this is what I was trying to show with Munch, but I didn't have a good angle. You want um, their rump hair back here to be about the same puffiness as their chest hair here. So they look rounded from both sides both ends. Okay, so we worked a little bit on Pan's neck. His neck's a little bit easier to see than Haas's. 
um, because of the light coloring. So you can see the, the cowlick right here, how it goes up and around, and then this hair comes back in, forming this poofy keel down here. And then from the other side, 